Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We have a semicircle and a quarter circle inside of a square. And it wants to know what is the area of the square. This is part two. In part one, we found the length of this segment right here. If you want to check out that video, I'll put a link up here and in the description. And if you want to try to find the area of this square, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. We have two unknown values here. I want to call those X and Y. Since we know it's a square, we know that this 10 plus X is equal to the eight plus Y. And then we can subtract eight from both sides and we get Y is equal to X plus two. This looks important, let's put a box around it. Next, let's focus on this radius right here, which we know is equal to eight. And let's pivot it over here to this point of tangency. And we also know this radius is equal to five and let's pivot it over here to this point of tangency. And then let's complete this right triangle and we can now do the Pythagorean theorem. We have the quantity x plus 5 squared plus the quantity y plus 8 squared is equal to 13 squared. And right now we have two variables, but in the place of this y, we can plug in x plus 2. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So now we have x plus 5 squared plus x plus 10 squared. This x plus 5 squared means the same thing as x plus 5 times x plus 5. And the x plus 10 squared is the same thing as x plus 10 times x plus 10. After we multiply this out, we get x squared plus 10x plus 25. And after we multiply this out, we get x squared plus 20x plus 100. And then we can add these together. x squared plus x squared is equal to 2x squared. 10x plus 20x is equal to 30x. And 25 plus 100 is 125. And that's all going to equal 13 squared, which is 169. Nice. Since we have a quadratic, we want to set this whole thing equal to 0. So let's subtract 169 from both sides. The 2x squared and the 30x can be copied down. 125 minus 169 is equal to negative 44. And 169 minus 169 is equal to 0. Next, let's divide everything by 2. On the left-hand side, 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. 30x divided by 2 is 15x. And negative 44 divided by 2 is negative 22. And then on the right-hand side, 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. Now, there's a couple different ways we can solve this, but let's do the quadratic formula. It says x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, whole thing over 2a. a is the 1 in front of the x squared, b is the 15 in front of the x, and c is the constant negative 22. In the place of both of these b's, we can plug in 15. In the place of both of these a's, we can plug in 1. And in the place of this c, we can plug in negative 22. 15 squared is equal to 225, and negative 4 times 1 times negative 22 is equal to positive 88. Inside the square root, 225 plus 88 is equal to 313. And in the denominator, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So this gives us a positive value and a negative value. And we know that x is a positive length, so we can get rid of the negative value. So x is equal to negative 15 plus the square root of 313, whole thing divided by 2. And we know that the side length of the square is equal to x plus 10. And in the place of the x, we can plug in all of this stuff. In order to combine these, let's change this 10 into a 20 over 2. But we can combine this negative 15 over 2 and this positive 20 over 2 to give us positive 5 over 2. And now we know the side length is equal to 5 plus the square root of 313 over 2. And that is approximately 11.3. And now we're ready for our question. The area of this square is going to be this side length squared. We can multiply this times this, and that gives us an exact value of 169 plus 5 root 313, everything over 2. And we can give that a label of square units. And the approximate value of this is 128.72951. And this is the answer to our question. This is the area of this square. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.